Ghost Lore just dropped its 1.2 update and with it came a ton of new content. The biggest addition are the legendary items, which they announced a few months back. These items completely changed the gameplay by giving us new skills like a rain of arrows, allowing access to class exclusive skills or even upgrade skills we already have. For example, the windfire boots give me dashing strikes, but now it leaves a fire trail, which the regular version doesn't do. These new item exclusive skills are locked into a specific crit slot, so you can't move them around. So you have to build your character with their set location in mind. I also did some testing and found out that the stats on these items are fixed. They can't be rerolled like normal items at the health watch. And you also can't add sockets to them. However, you can still upgrade their base item level. While I kind of understand not being able to change the stats on unique items, I hope that we can at least put sockets onto them with another patch, since those uniques have to compete with perfectly rolled purple items that have also 4 sockets. There is also a new stylist feature, which lets you change your hairstyle, hair color and skin color, which is pretty neat. On top of that, we now have a bunch of new stylish gear to equip, thanks to the 5 new equipment slots. This really lets you customize your look like never before. Some of the new weapons even come with their own animations and use both hands, like the staff or gloves. Before everything was one handed with a shield, so this is a nice change. Each new item also comes with its own unique stat bonuses. For example, the spike color reflects damage, the necklace grants avoidance, the axe gives armor break, while the pitchfork boosts accuracy. Oh, and we also have pets now. They can pick up gold, have their own inventory, and you can send them to sell your loot, just like pets in Torchlight. Before I forget, since we got so many new item slots, we also got a rework for the gems and what they do on those items. As you can see, a lot of the new gem stats have gone to boosting minions, which is awesome, since they were lacking in damage and survivability. Overall, I would say the game feels much deeper now as an ARPG. Grinding for those legendary items with good stats is going to be an awesome endgame activity. And the damage potential and craziness has also gone up by a lot. Just imagine twice as many gear slots and all those new abilities combined with skill loadouts that weren't possible before. So if you have been thinking about trying ghost lore, or just want a chill ARPG to play without too much stress, then now is the time to jump in. And if you want a more detailed breakdown of the game, you can check out my review.